Hey, this is Tristan from CardioCritic.com and this is another video for the Sunto Spartan Trainer Wrist HR. This one is focused on the customization of your training pages, so for the different sports profiles. Um, if you've not seen the other videos, please watch them. Uh, they're linked to from this one and below. The Sunto Spartan Trainer is a five out of five star reviewed product excellent value for money great for all sports and the best Sunto gps heart rate monitor sports watch that they have ever produced value for money wise okay so um we're going to use the up down button to pop into exercise mode when we go into exercise mode you're then presented with all of the different sports profiles. Initially, there's about a dozen or so default ones. After you've been using the watch yourself, you'll get those from Moves Count. So in the Moves Count, it lists all of the dozens and dozens and dozens, if not hundreds of sports profiles. I browse them. For each one, it shows you the different training pages, how many lines of data there are on each page, and what metrics are shown. So you just choose the ones that are... Um, uh, apply to you and you just tick a box to say show on watch and um, remove the ones you don't want and add the ones you do want so for some sports like for example running there are a couple or even up to six I think for cycling of different slightly tweaked um, options so there's running basic and there's running trail running for cycling there's mountain biking cycling basic there's cycling power there's cycling interval so for all those different sort of sub profiles they have a focus on a certain aspect of that exercise discipline um, type so have a look at them all and see which one suits you most however it might be that um, for example although there's six under cycling there isn't one that covers the screen configurations that you want so that is addressed with customization so you from the moves count website you then select uh, an option for new profile under the sport so you go to cycling for example and I created a new profile and I called it cardio critic bike now if I go into this I normally would wait obviously for those icons to settle to sync up to my power the heart rate would be picked up and GPS would lock in but um, I'm just going to press start so these are screens I've chose myself so I've got average speed on the top left there um, my heart rate is off the top right currently attempting to pick it up from my finger so please don't pay too much attention to that uh, I have 10 second power in the middle and I have I can't remember on the bottom I think it's distance I think um, pressing again to training page 2 I've got average heart rate Epoch, which is the measure of um, heart rate variability training effect, uh, increases as you uh, fatigue increases. I've got my maximum power, my pedal cadence from my um, power sensor, and the time of day. Press it again, and I've got average my uh, lap. Sorry, my lap summary page. So on this one, I, if I was to press lap or had it on auto lapping, I'd be able to see average power, average speed, and average heart rate per lap. Now uh, this is a GPS data screen where you can choose location, find your way back etc. So that's covered in different videos. So this is a four metric display, four data field display. I can't, you don't have the flexibility to make it to, for example a two line display or one line display so although it's customization I can choose what goes in each one of these segments of the screen I am restricted to it being a four data field display and the same on the second training page it's restricted to being a five page display sorry five data field display and on the third lap page um, you have three columns and it's then up to me to decide which goes in there. I can have anything I want in here. It could be the epoch, it could be my peak training effect for each lap. It could be the maximum speed, the average speed, average heart rate, whatever. So back to that. So there is a great deal of flexibility. You can choose what goes in any of these data fields from the available metrics. However, you can't say I want this to be a one line display. For me personally, I would love to be able to set a two line display, two big numbers. I like to cycle with 10 second power 
and heart rate or 10 second power and speed um, hopefully that will be something that Sunto will add in the future but currently there is a restriction um, and that is you have to work your data fields around being a four field display and the second page a five field display okay so um, let's just go back and just stop that and that so the same applies for all sports the sports profiles the number of sports profiles is being added to all of the time there are literally dozens if not hundreds everything from supping to windsurfing to sailing to mountain biking to riding hockey football american football weights obstacle course um, they're all covered there and if i just go through mine quickly some of these i must admit oh sorry it's syncing with my phone um, some of these are default ones which I've yet to remove but let's go to the top so I've got this is my personal one cycling cardio critic which I've made myself customized generic triathlon race running again cardio critic one I made that one myself running basic cycling basic trail running treadmill basic treadmill it uses the internal accelerometer to uh, give you an accurately estimated distance um, cycling that one is based on biased on towards power I won't go into it this second sorry trail running treadmill basic cycling power indoor cycling basic mountain biking pool swimming pool swimming for example you pop into there go down to options set the length of the pool um, there's also open water swimming which uses the GPS obstacle racing weight training circuit training hiking alpine skiing ski touring etc in other you just go into other and you can even choose one on the so this is one that you've not got set up so you can say well I'm going kayaking today I'm rowing today climbing you can see the list is phenomenally extensive and being updated all the time okay obviously if you're using one of these sports if you were often Nordic walking or if you're often windsurfing or if you're often roller skiing then you'd set it up as a sports profile you'd put that as one of the options that you would see when you press exercise I need to tidy this one up a bit all I want is my cycling one the cardio critic one my running one uh, the cardio critic one uh, windsurfing supping open water swimming walking weights and gym that's all i need okay but as you can see loads of flexibility brilliant watch five out of five star review please like or subscribe and share um, my page my youtube channel and also the fact that the sunto spartan trainer is uh, one of the best gps sports watches for 2017 and 2018 thanks for watching cheers bye